Welcome back. I'm John Walton and this is Health and Wellness Unlimited. Hopefully by now you've viewed the first two videos. The first being the introduction to the series and the second a definition of hypnosis. If you haven't I would suggest you go back now and take a view. They're brief, they're short and to the point. It won't take you long. Then join us here for this video. Now in this video we're going to discuss how hypnosis works. Before we do that, we need to understand a little bit about ourselves. When we speak about hypnosis, we're talking about our minds. Not our brain, but our minds. Our brains are that functional organ that govern how our bodies are functioning and how they're working. We're speaking of our mind, that part of us that rules over how we think and how we act. Okay, now that we have that clear, let's understand that hypnosis works with the mind. The mind is divided into two parts. The conscious mind, that's the very active analytical part, and the subconscious mind, the more creative and non-critical or analytical part. Keeping that in mind, we can tell you now how hypnosis works. Hypnosis serves to bypass the conscious mind, the very critical and analytical part. We want to come past that part of the mind and speak to the subconscious, that part of the mind that's very creative and very non-critical. Why do we want to speak to the subconscious? Because the subconscious is more receptive to suggestions than the conscious. Why, might you ask? Because remember, the subconscious is non-critical and non-analytical. If you think about very creative and imaginative people, we talk about people that basically house or live in the subconscious where their creativity can evolve. Does that mean that the conscious mind is bad? No, it doesn't. The conscious mind, the very critical and analytical part, serves to help those folks who are very analytical. However, in hypnosis, we want to achieve change in our lives. We must first bypass that conscious part of our mind, that part that will sit there and analyze each and every word that we bring to it, each and every word that we say, and most likely decide not to do some of the suggestions that you would like to have put into your life to make change for you. That part of the critical mind that does that is what we call the critical factor. So in hypnosis, what we want to do is we want to bypass that part of the mind. And we do that in a very simple and easy way. We simply have you sit back and relax, take nice deep breaths, and allow yourself to simply drift off. Simply by closing your eyes, you already begin to move into a state of relaxation. And as we progress with that relaxation, we serve to bypass that critical factor on the conscious mind and then are able to communicate with the subconscious mind, the creative and imaginative part, the non-critical part that is there to accept suggestions and help you achieve your goals. One other thing you need to understand about how this works, and that is all the hypnosis is basically self-hypnosis. So what does that mean? That means that I or no hypnotist can actually hypnotize you if you choose not to be hypnotized. So we basically have to have your permission and your cooperation. And with your permission and your cooperation, we are then able to bypass that critical and that conscious mind, enter into and communicate with the subconscious, and then give it suggestions for your success. Next thing you need to understand is what suggestions are we talking about? Where do they come from? Do I make them up? Do I give you suggestions based on what I think you want? No, simply not. Those suggestions are your suggestions. Suggestions that you provide me or the hypnotist with prior to entering into hypnosis. And they are suggestions that you and the hypnotist will sit down and discuss and agree upon that are suggestions that you want to achieve the success and the concern that you have. 
So hopefully I've made that clearer for you, a little clearer than before. Let's just review. How does hypnosis work? It bypasses the conscious mind, the critical factor, which then leads us to the subconscious mind, the non-analytical part of the mind, which is open for suggestions, your suggestions, the suggestions you provide me, the hypnotist, with to feed back to you. And that part of your mind simply is waiting there to receive those suggestions so that you can achieve the goal that you have set in your mind for your life. Well, hopefully we clarified that a bit for you. If not, be sure and contact us and read our newsletter, The Hypnosis Examiner, a quarterly publication that comes out. We'll have information available to you on the site and how you may contact us and subscribe to our newsletter. Now, again, I'm John Walker, and that's it for today. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you again soon.